Are you trying to change the colors in your header or your announcement bar and you're not able to? You can't find the place where the colors are changed. Um, well, <laughs> you would not be alone with this. Um, since Squarespace introduced some new features to the header, the color management has become rather confusing. And I am going to take you through the settings now so that you know where to change the colors. So I am in edit mode uh, on my page. And the first thing we want to do is go into the uh, edit site header, go to your styles, and we're going to start with our dynamic setting. So we have in total four different styles for our header, you know, so dynamic, theme, gradient, and solid. When you select dynamic, your header becomes transparent and the colors of your navigation, your title, your button and your announcement bar are driven by the color uh, of the first section that follows the header. So in this case, let us go into site styles uh, and colors. So you can see our section theme is a uh, dark one. So we're going to go into edit mode for that. And then here you can see where it says site title, navigation links. So this is where you can make the changes now. So that changes this, you know, and, and this here. Uh, so that is where we do that. The button color, I'm just going to revert to that again. Uh, the button color is driven by the main button. Uh, so if we go to that and change that here, you can see it changes it now in your header. And I'm just going to revert that too. And now what's very confusing to people is that we actually have a section here in our color editor called menu overlay, background link color button, background button text. I'm pretty sure this is where we used to set the background color, um, but that is not what's happening anymore. Um, well, certainly not for the for the overlay here now, you know, when we when we select the transparent header, you know, in that case, you know, the background, the, it makes sense that it doesn't use that because it's transparent. However, you'd think that maybe the link color would still determine anything here, but it doesn't, you know, so this whole section here, you can basically ignore if you're using the dynamic style in your header. Um, okay, so uh, and uh, same for the announcement bar, you know, if you look down here, this is where you can make changes to the color of the announcement bar. So in the dynamic style, the color settings are driven by the theme of the first section on your page. Okay, so let us look at the next one and go to um, our styles again. And now we're going to select theme. And uh, here we have the light one theme. Uh, so let us go into our color editor and, you know, light one. So this is the theme that drives our colors now. Now, I thought this for sure is where we use the menu overlay. So background, for instance, let's change that. Nothing happens. Nothing happens actually with any of these here. So I am not sure what this menu overlay is for. Um, this to me seems like it's actually redundant. Um, I think we used to use this here, you know, to change the header, but I don't know, you know, so you can ignore that as well. Actually, the menu overlay doesn't do anything in any of our style settings. So here, you know, you want to go to header again. This is where you can change your header color. Uh, and also your navigation links. If you want to change the button color, you have to find your general button for this theme and change the color in here. Um, and also the announcement bar, if you go a little bit further down, this is where you make the changes to the announcement bar colors. Okay, that is fairly straightforward, right? So now let us go and select our now solid and gradient actually both behave in the same way. So let's just select the solid setting. Now, this is partially driven by an underlying color theme. And you can override the background color and the navigation color 
locally, you know, so right here in this menu. So you don't actually have to go to the color themes to change that. So if I want to change my background color here, this is where I would do that. If I want to change my navigation uh, color, so, you know, any of my links here, that is where I do this. And, um, but I want to change the button color or the announcement bar color. Where do I do that? Hmm, right. Well, it used to be that the button color in the header was driven by the default color theme of your website. And there is no way to tell what the default theme is actually. Uh, now for most of the templates, it's the lightest theme. There are a few where it is the darkest theme. Um, however, that is not the case anymore. Um, because if I now go into the lightest theme and I go to my button here and I try and change it, nothing happens. So it's actually not driven anymore by the, uh, by the default color theme. Um, which is actually a good thing because it, it's never been clear that there even is a default color theme. So, okay, but where do we change this now? I mean, is it the theme color of the first section, like in the dynamic layout? Nope. What it is is, so the colors, you know, so if you have a dynamic or gradient style uh, set, the colors of the button and the announcement bar are driven by the theme in the theme style setting. <laughs> so you have to actually go back here, click on theme, and then have a look here what it is. Okay, it's light one. And now we're gonna go back to solid, and now we're gonna go back into our color editor. We go to light one, and then we go to the button color here, and then here is where we change it. Now you have to bear in mind when you do that, you're changing the default color for the button in the light theme, wherever the light theme is used on your website. You know, so this is a global change that you're making. So it doesn't only affect the button in your, um, in your header. So bear that in mind, you know, so it might actually be better uh, if you want to have that color to maybe choose another color theme, uh, you know, to basically go back to here, go to style and, you know, just go to um, theme. And then, uh, now I don't know which, which one of these would do that. Um, I don't know if I have any that has, has a green button because green is a bit easier to, um, okay. Let's just um, choose this one here, which is a white button. And now actually, if I go to um, solid here, yeah, see now it's a white button. So um, if you have a theme that has the color you want, just change the theme. So you don't have to actually go into the color editor for the theme because that will change it everywhere, right? Uh, now, of course, in this case, you know, we wouldn't want it to be um, to be this color. So I'm just going to change this one back to, um, you know, to lightest, which is uh, which is what we had. And um, so and now I go back to solid. OK, and if I want to change the um, now, do we remember we had lightest if I want to change the announcement bar color? I have to go into the color settings for lightest and then uh, here announcement bar and then this is where I change that. So are you confused? Um, well, um, <laughs> uh, it would be very understandable if you are because I'm still confused by this. You know, uh, it took me a, a little while to work this out and I've actually had emails with uh, the Squarespace help desk about this. Uh, this is clearly a disconnect between what the engineers need to do in the back end and between what is actually user friendly on the front end. You know, this is very confusing for people. Uh, I mean, how, how are you supposed to know that the see that the color for the button and the announcement bar is driven 
by you know the um, uh, the style setting for the um, for the themed style, whereas you can override you know the navigation and the background color in in the actual um, header settings. It's confusing, um, but I hope that at least uh, I have helped you now um, understand this a little bit better, and now at least you know you know what changes you need to make in order to change the colors if that is what you want to do. And uh, my hope is that Squarespace will eventually make this a little bit uh, more user friendly and straightforward because it really needs to be. Um, so, for instance, if you have the, um, you know, the, the override settings here for the uh, solid color, background color, navigation color, well, we need another one here then to override also the button color and maybe the announcement bar. You know, that needs to be in here. Because who 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 would think, you know, intuitively that, oh, well, I have to see what is my theme color and then that will drive the color of my button and my announcement bar. It just is not very logical, doesn't make a lot of sense. Uh, so, yeah, so hopefully we will see some improvements at some point uh, about this. Thank you so much. If you like this video, please give me a little thumbs up and um, see you next time. <laughs>